early morning, just stepped out the door. You can hear the uh, meadow larks. I'm getting ready to go down to the marsh. The marsh is in that direction. It's about 5.50. The sun's already up. I had to go back. Got my glasses. This is the first pond on the marsh. You can see a little bit of mist on that pond. So what wildlife is there to photograph out here? Well, there's the occasional tern flying over. Just a couple of them flew over right now. Off in the distance, there's a couple of western grebes. There are marsh wrens everywhere, but I challenge you to try to get one to hold still long enough to get a decent shot. They are hyperactive, to say the least. Thousands and thousands of them all around you, and it's nerve-wracking to try to get one to hold still for a second out in the open instead of in the tules to get a good shot. I just saw a cormorant fly across there. But nothing flying overhead except maybe a turn or two. And that's the way it is. It's just nature. You can enjoy it, but there's not a whole lot of bird photography going on right at the moment. Well, there's some of my gear. I've got the Sigma contemporary lens on there, the 150 to 600 uh, telephoto zoom, as they say, what people like to say, a zoom lens. <laughs> but this one is kind of a zoom lens. You have to manually zoom it, but it it's pretty good when you get the right light. It's it's not as good as a Canon lens, you know, as far as sharp pictures. But it'll be sharp if you get the light right. And there's my coffee cup, my Christmas coffee cup, and my bike. If it was last year, I would have this bike and I'd be biking out some towards some dike out here in the middle of nowhere out here in this vast expanse of marsh uh, trying to get a picture of something. But I'm not, I already know, I got the feeling now you're uh, going down the wrong rabbit hole when you do that. It's just not going to be any concentration of birds anywhere. Not warm enough. So I'm not going to bother loading up on a bike with my backpack and my camera and everything and pedaling out in the middle of this place just to not get any shots. I'm just going to take it easy and enjoy stuff. Thought I'd say a little bit about what flies over here from time to time. And the light's right when you go like this. You can see you got the shadows there. There's my shadow. So that's where you want to be when you get your best picture. So if you got flyover coming at you, it's a great place. And I do get fantastic shots of turns and flying. And Occasionally you'll get a cormorant over here, and I've even had egret fly over here, and I've had American bittern, you know, fly over here. Here comes a, 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 a turn right now. That would be a forester's turn. And they come real close, you know, and so it's a good place to set up for flight photography on the right day, and this just doesn't feel like the right day. I can just tell after being out for a while what's going to happen and what's not and I don't fret I just take it easy and you never know what's going to happen I mean something could be right on top of you you got to be ready too you got to be relaxed and ready so that's the nature of what I would call uh, zen and the art of bird photography don't lose your zen well there's something very relaxing about, very pleasant about reflection of uh, 
morning sky on still waters. And those waters are a lot more still than they were yesterday and the day before and the day before that, where the wind was blowing cold out of the north and just unforgivingly nasty with storms and hail and whatever blowing over. Uh, but uh, wildlife, one lonely American coot sitting out in the middle of there. And I think about bird photographers and all the effort they go to putting branches on tripods and getting feeders set up and just the right kind of thing and their blinds and uh, recordings out in the woods with little perches all set up so they can get a good shot and flying all over the world from the Antarctic to the Arctic to try to get a photograph of a bird or two. I'm being a little facetious because they're after certain species, obviously. But hey, kick back, just wait and let it come to you. I'm not in a big hurry and leaning up against my truck here just a few minutes ago, a turn just came right up to me and flew by and I snapped off about 10 or 15 shots and got some pretty good close up flight shots. Not that I don't have enough of them already.